I have this philosophy. I can convince people to change their vote if I convince them to go along with an incredible idea. I'm not talking about an idea like, we're gonna have universal health care. Wow, well that's been around. I'm talking about an idea like saving the planet. So I wanna go to the desert and I want to go to the craziest desert in the world. I wanna to go to Death Valley. I wanna to go to a desert that no one goes to unless you're going to the national park, but it is so hot that no one lives there. And I want to build pyramid cities. I want to build cities that are like the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas. I want to build skyscraper pyramids that are reflecting the sun towards um, a water tower that can then um, be, be used to, um, number one, move a turbine, and number two, desalinate water. So um, the main reason I want to do this is because Lake Mead is going down so fast. Lake Mead keeps going down. We need somewhere to put desalinated water be because I need to be, be able to desalinate water without using coal. And if I desalinate water in California, I'm going to have to use coal or natural gas or something like that or oil. God forbid, people desalinate water with oil. It's important that people understand that. And so what I'm talking about is moving a ton of water from the ocean of California to, to Death Valley, and there we can boil it to desalinate it and then put the, the purified water into Lake Mead, and then we can move it back downstream, and then it can move, go back to California from there. And so um, I've come up this, with this idea for um, pyramid cities where we're reflecting the sun to, to boil water. I'm not 100% sure it's gonna work, but what I do know is that I'm serious about doing something extreme. I'm serious about cutting oil consumption in half. I think that both Republicans and Democrats can get on board with the idea that we will run out of oil someday, and that we should make sure that oil's around for our kids, and we should, we should try to be as efficient in our use of raw materials as possible because they're not gonna be around forever. And so what I've said is, let's use our oil to build cities of the future that don't require oil. Let's use our oil to build walking cities because we can all act like a, the, the electric car is the end all be all um, idea, but the electric ca car and our le electric batteries someday might primarily be used for farming and um, for, for housing and for transportation, uh, unless we have a breakthrough, which we might have a breakthrough, but no matter what, um, for cars specifically, we need a very small battery breakthrough. Whereas um, if we're building cities, we can have huge batteries to st store electricity that we generate during the day. So if we're, if we're generating, generating photovoltaic energy or concentrated solar energy um, from the sun, then we can store them in a big battery in a city, but um, in a car, you need a very small battery, and um, lithium ion requires, or li lithium requires mi mining, cobalt requires mining, and um, they aren't, uh, my understanding is that um, batteries aren't 100% recyclable, and so um, no matter what, um, they, they are finite. Like, there, there's a finite amount of uh, raw materials that you can have for batteries on the planet, and so uh, we can act like we're all just gonna have electric cars someday, Maybe we need to act like we're all going to have to find balance someday, and and we, we need to and, and we need to act like the oil we are you we have is limited, and that we need to use it in a way that makes it easy for us in the future to not have oil at all. And that's why you should vote for me because I will build these crazy pyramid cities in the desert, or I'll be, build crazy cities in the desert regardless, no matter what. And I will build a city all the way from Las Vegas to California, I will, I know it's, Americans are gonna have trouble with this idea. I will create a special economic zone in Nevada where I will bring in people from other countries to invest with us and they will be kind of rulers over, because over, over this area specifically, it's gonna be ruled by a board. Like, here's my board. It's gonna be people from China that are builders, people, people from um, Europe, 
people from the United States that are like, f like from, th there's going to be at least one spot for, for uh, NASA. Um, because this is a, this is a research project. I want to build schools there. I want to build um, a university system that's not just for, for the English language. It's for multiple language. The English language university connects all the other universities because the other universities are small. But, um, but it's, it's a bunch of universities that all feed into this English language university. And so that people from all over the world can come to this pyramid city and do research. So this is a research center. This is but more than anything, it's a way for us to survive without, um, without oil, because I don't think people get it. They don't, they don't understand how much oil they need because I want to build infrastructure so that our farmland in California is connected through trains to this, this Death Valley community that's generating electricity. And they're also, because, because we also have the Hoover Dam there. And that's another reason we should want to make sure Lake Mead stays full, no matter how much of a drought we experience. Um, so we will have electricity from the Hoover Dam. We'll have electricity that the city generates, but more than anything, hopefully we're going to have water that we desalinate from the city that can be shot back to the Central Valley um, so that um, we can use it for farming because um, the groundwater in the Central Valley is going down so much. And a lot of our nuts, like almonds and stuff like that, um, a lot, of, a lot of cotton, a lot of like uh, really good fruit comes from the Central Valley. Central Valley is all types of food, so um, we need to protect it. So vote for me. I have real ideas. I'm original. Um,